welcome back to my channel. If you guys are interested in creating a look similar to the one that I showed you in the intro of this video, then just keep watching. I'm actually not gonna do my face first. I'm gonna do my eyes first. We are gonna use some handy dandy scotch tape so that we can kind of create that winged effect. I'm gonna pull you guys in just a little bit so you can actually see what I'm doing. That is so zoomed. Hello. Okay, so the trick for this is just to go right under your eyelashes and just press on the corner and then you've got your ideal shape for your eye if you're going to do a little bit of a winged look all right now that we've got this on i'm going to use the tarte shape tape in the shade light neutral i'm just going to set it with some translucent powder i'm just using the cody airspun powder for this entire eye look i'm going to be using the anastasia beverly hills modern renaissance palette it is my all-time favorite palette i cannot put it down for my transition shade i'm going to be using guan fresco i have no idea if that's even remotely how you say it but we're going to go with it Taking that transition shade right above the crease, we're going to blend it all the way into the inner corner and up to give that really blown out effect. Taking the shade Tempura, I'm running that along my transition shade to ensure that everything is nice and blended. To deepen up the outer corner, I'm taking Warm Taupe and I'm blending that into the outer third of my eye. To add more dimension, I'm taking Antique Bronze and I'm laying that on top of where we placed Warm Taupe. To bring back some of the purple hues, we're taking Love Letter and we're applying that heavily to the outer third of the eye and then buffing it in towards the center. I decided to go back in with our transition shade just to build up the intensity. For this look, we're doing a half cut crease. So the best way to do this is to grab your favorite concealer. I grabbed my Tarte Shape Tape because it is the most full coverage one that I own and then apply a fair amount of it to your lash line and then look up and when you look back, you'll see that it created a little bit of a guide for you. And I have hooded eyes so I like to draw just slightly above that line so that you can see the dimension. But you're basically going to blend your concealer to the halfway point of the eye. In a second we're going to cut the crease with glitter but first we need to prep the area by applying concealer to where we want the glitter to be. Using Urban Decay's Heavy Metals in the shade Midnight Cowboy, I'm just running that along the line we drew with concealer. Okay, so I totally lied. I'm not just using the Anastasia Modern Renaissance Palette because it doesn't have a black in it, which I feel like you should put a black in every single eyeshadow palette, but whatever. I'm gonna use the Urban Decay Smoked Palette. Taking the black shade from the palette, I'm just lining my eyes really close to the lash line and then pulling it out just slightly at the end to create a small wing. All right, now that you guys have gotten a close up of what I did on my eyes, I'm gonna show you what I would do on my face for a festival type of look. So we're gonna go in with the Benefit Professional, and then I'm just gonna apply it where my largest pores are. I'm using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in the shade Golden Beige around the perimeter of my face. Now I'm gonna take my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in the shade Nude Ivory, and I'm gonna apply that to the center portion of my face. So now that we are all blended out, I'm gonna go in with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I'm in the shade Light Neutral, and I'm actually not gonna highlight with this, so I'm just gonna do like a tiny little dot on the darker part of my eye. I'm gonna be using the Dual Ended Contour and Concealer Stick by Wet n Wild. So I just put this on where I would normally contour. And then I actually just like to blend this out with my finger. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go in with the highlighting end of the concealer stick, and I'm just gonna place that here on my forehead, and then just a little bit on like where my highlight's gonna be. Down on the chin, corners of the mouth, and then down my nose. Since we're going to a festival, we're going to really work on bronzing the face. I'm just using my tried and true Soleil Baked Bronzer from Milani. Another little trick that I like to do to kind of make my cheekbones pop a little bit is to actually take my bronzer, just whatever's left on my brush, and to smile, and then to go underneath the apples of my cheeks. And then I'm gonna go down my chin and my neck. Cool, now that we look like we have just baked ourselves in the sun, 
I'm gonna actually set my face now, which will help to enhance those highlighted areas even more. So for setting my face, I'm going to be using the Cody Airspun Powder, and I'm not gonna use my Beauty Blender for this because I noticed that when I started to do that, my makeup started to look really cakey. So I'm just gonna use this little foundation brush and apply just a little bit underneath my eyes here to ensure that there is not any creasing. And then I'll run it alongside here. So we're gonna kind of mock bake. I'm not really gonna bake, but I'm just gonna add a little bit here so that it really intensifies that contour. And then just patting it everywhere else that I kind of need it to really set that foundation in, but to not overly like cake the face. I like to run a little bit down here and I actually do bake this part just because I really want um, my nose to look thinner and that's kind of the way I achieve that. And then same thing underneath here. Oh my gosh, do y'all see this? There's like, there was something black on my brush. That is really, really wonderful. Wow. Oh my gosh, like a straight up line. That is fabulous. I'm not sure how I'm gonna get rid of that. I don't know if you can tell anymore. So let's just hope that this is, yeah, that's gonna be much better. There we go. So again, I like to kind of intensify that contour. So I'm just gonna put a little line of this underneath to really chisel my cheeks. Cause I have chubby cheeks and I really don't think that's ever gonna change. And then again, I just apply it where I need it. While this is all setting, I'm gonna complete the eye look. I'm just gonna take the transition shade that I used, which was Buon Fresco. I don't know, very fancy name that I can't pronounce. And I'm just gonna take my handy dandy blending brush that I actually used for almost the entire eye look. So these Real Technique brushes are like the true MVPs. It's literally just called the base shadow brush. So we're just gonna dip into that color. I'm just gonna apply this to my lower lash line. I don't know if you guys can tell, but this side is a lot more blown out. I've just taken that purple shade and I've just applied it right under that lash line. Now I'm gonna blend it out with a blending brush with nothing on it just to make sure that it looks seamless. Now I'm gonna go in with antique bronze and I'm gonna go into this like outer corner. Last but not least, I'm gonna take the black shade that is actually not even in this palette. So sorry, I tried to keep it all in one palette for you. But just take a black eyeshadow shade. I'm using it from the Smoked Urban Decay palette. Then I'm gonna apply it to my lower lash line just in this outer corner so that it kind of connects with the winged eyeliner that I already have so it looks more seamless. I feel like I've said seamless so many times in this video, but that is the look that I'm going for. Now it's time for the fun part. I'm gonna highlight the crap out of my face because it's a music festival and we can be as glowy as we want, right? So I'm gonna go in first with the Wet n Wild highlighting powder in the shade Precious Petals. I love this stuff, it's great. All right, so that's the first layer. Second layer, it's just this really pretty like iridescent holographic almost looking glitter. So I'm just gonna take my Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray and I'm gonna spray it where I want it. So we're just gonna apply this like right where we applied all of the highlight. And then I'm just gonna take a little flat top concealer brush, dip it into the glitter. Now that we've got our glitter on, I'm gonna put on my lashes off camera. I'm going to overline my lips using the NYX Lip Pencil in Sam Beige. For my base lip color, I'm gonna go in with ColourPop Lippy Stick in the shade Tootsie. I'm gonna add in my Wet n Wild Liquid Catsuit Lipstick in the shade Nudist Peach. Just gonna add this into the center to help my lips look even more voluminous. So now for the fun part. We are gonna take our Tarte Shape Tape Concealer once again, and we're gonna draw a straight line on the bottom lip. So now that that has completely dried down, I'm gonna take my Urban Decay Liquid Metals and I'm just gonna do a straight line down the center. Okay, so you might think that that is the final look, but I think I'm gonna try one more thing. I went to the store last night and I was planning on doing my nails like really crazy and fun like this, and I picked up some nail decals that I think I wanna add for a nose ring. I actually had a nose ring at one point for like less than 24 hours. It was like maybe 72 hours. No, I think it was less than 24 hours. I was in Italy, I got it. As soon as I decided that I liked it, I washed my face and whenever I like went to dry off, the towel pulled it out of my nose. My sweet friends all had their like fingers in my nose trying to get that stupid thing back in and we couldn't. 
and then I was too embarrassed to go back to the um, tattoo parlor that we went to because it was like a pretty like tough parlor and I couldn't figure out how to get this thing back in my nose so then it just closed up really quickly overnight and yeah so I'm gonna try and relive it right now by just placing it where I originally had it Okay, so this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, please don't forget to subscribe to me and to give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Uh, I hope you guys are all having a wonderful week and I'll see you next Wednesday. Yeah,